Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have brought a really amazing CLI file manager that is FFF which refers to the fucking fastest file manager. So as its name suggests, it's really fast as well as it's really lightweight. And this will be really helpful for those users who prefer to use the CLI in their daily life. Let me just show you the repository. So here you can see the repository of the FFF. So you can also see out that it just only requires the best and the core utils to run. And we can also see that it has a smooth scrolling using the Beam keybinding and which works on the Linux as well as on the Mac OS and the BST. It also supports the LS corals as well as the file operations like copy, paste, cut and the ranger style bulk rename. So which is really amazing features we can rename the multiple files using the bulk rename. So and one of the most amazing features that I like in the FFF is we can search for the files and folders. And it also display the image with the W3M. So if your distro don't support the W3M, then you are going to be unlucky one. And if you use the art space distro, you can easily install the W3M. And you have to set up the W3M for supporting the images. So here you can see our the dependencies, which is the bash. And we have to install the core utils and we have to install the XTG utils as well. So which is uh, optional one. Uh, you need the XTG utils to open up the files and documents and the images. So so we have uh, we have the other dependencies for displaying the image as well so we can easily install the w3m img and x to tool for x and we also need to install the app app we set for frame buffer and uh, based upon your distro here is the installation instruction as well so if you use the arch base void base or any other distro we have easy command for that and if you use the distro like debian base and other distro then you have to build it from the source so it's really easy to build it from the source here you can see out the manual for uh, building it from the source as well so let's just install it on my machine so i am using the arts based distro i can use it, i can install it from the aur as well so i don't need to use the aur because it's already available on the official repository we can simply do the sudo pacman hyphen s s fff so you can see out that it's already installed it is in the community and it is in the official repository of arts uh, by default so you can simply do sudo pacman hyphen s fff so let's just press the y as you can see that i have installed the fff So let's just set up the another one here as you can see that we are given uh, some instruction to set up the CD on exit uh, this is gonna be the really helpful so we can easily set up on the bash and ZSH if you use the fish shell so we have the another instru instruction for the fish shell as well by setting this function we are able to launch the FFF just by pressing the F on the terminal so let me just go for the ZSH RC because I am using here a ZSH shell so now let's open the nano let me just open with the beam and beam dot zshrc so here i just open let me just go for the another workspace let me just make it big so let's just go on the button of the configuration file and let's paste it here so, and we are done so let's just write and exit from here and let's just open up the another instance of the zhs and let's just type the f so here as you can see the file manager has been open uh, this uh, the ui interface is not very good but it's pretty good to start up and use it as a daily file manager so let me just show you some function uh, let's assume that we are on the downloads directory uh, sorry let's go back and we are on the home directory and we can just simply press the slash on the keyboard and just start to search for the string likewise as the vmware so i want to search for the vmware directory we can simply press the forward slash on the keyboard and we can begin to search for the character like we can easily search like directories like uh, bideos yeah as you can see that we have searched for the directories uh, let us go on that directory and we can also search for particular file as well nmcli so i think we can also use the we can also use 
regular expression so let me just press the escape and let me just go for back we can use the backspace for going to one step back let us check for the another key binding here you can see out that we can use j for scrolling down and we can use k for scrolling up so we can even use the arrow to navigate here and there on the directories so we have the backspace and enter to go up to the child directory and the parent directory we can also use the hyphen symbol for go up to the previous directory you can you, you can read out the usage and the key bindings yourself so let me just let me just show you some example uh, here like we can just simply uh, go to the pictures directory wallpapers directory or we can also do something like uh, shift semicolon and we can just type the name of the directory that we want to go like let's type the system well you can see out that I'll just go to the particular directory by just typing the name of the directory so we can also do like forward slash and let's search for the screenshot that is start with the s so you can see that i have just properly searched for the file so we can also press the uh, i think we can view the image so it's just open in the brave browser so that should open in the terminal i think i don't have installed the w3 img if you have set up the w3 m in your system then that will this will open in the terminal so let's just see for the another example so you can just simply uh, press the arrow keys we have the down key off key and the left key and arrow key for navigating here and there on the directories so it's really easy to navigate let me show you another example let's just go to the download directory and here you can see that i have the open vpn file so we can just simply press the return button to open up in the nano so you can also set out the another uh, editor in order to open these this kind of files or text file or a document in the default editor you can also set out the nbeam as a default editor on your system as well we can just simply press the control and exit from the nano so we can also go for the another directories likewise we have here a python file we can also open this python file and we can do some changes and we can just simply press the control o for saving and control x from here and when you are done and you want to exit from the fff then you can simply press the q on the keyboard so let me show you an another amazing example as well so we have the some picture in the picture directory you can see out here i have some screenshot so let me just copy this for copying you can just simply press the y and for cut we can simply press let me just see the key binding here uh, we can simply press the y for copy and m for move and we can just simply press d in order to send the file in the trash and we can also use s for symbolic mark as well oh it's really amazing we can also select the multiple file for copying moving copying and moving and moving all on the trash and we can also select all for making out the symbolic link as well so let me just go for this and uh, we can simply press the y to copy and let's go on with the wallpaper and let's go on with sarah and we can just simply press the p in order to paste the file you can see after that we have just paste the file and let's just select all for moving into the trash then we can simply press the shift d in order to moving into the trash and we can just simply uh, go on to trash by using the t and we can paste it here by using the p so we have we are prompt to we are prompt to yes or no so yes we are just going to trash this so as you can see that we are under the trash directory and we just deleted the four files so let's just go to the back so here as you can see we are back and we can just simply press t on or in order to go to the trash and we can just come back by using the backspace button so which will bring us to the parent directory so like this we can just simply copy paste and delete the particular five file using the fff so i find uh, this one are really handy so if you want to use the fff then you can easily use the fff so we can also launch the terminal on the working directory using fff as well so let me show you an example let's launch the fff so let's assume that i am on the vmware directory and we just want to launch the terminal here so we can simply place the shift and exclamation mark on the terminal so as you can see that we are on the vmware directory now let's just create the another directory one that is test and let's just exit from here so as you can see that we are back again with back again on the file manager 
and we got the test directory here let's just enter on the test directory and let's press the exclamation mark again again you see that we are on the test directory and we got our cell and we can easily do our tags and when we are done then we can just simply press the exit so let's exit from here so this much for the fff it's a really really amazing cli file manager for the those kind of user who prefers to use the cli as their daily driver i hope you like this video you can check out them as well i will provide the link in the description